One more time. That's a great question. I love that question. What, what if we in hell and we just don't know? Right? All right. The only the only reason why I say we're not in hell is because of what we did to the son. All right. If somebody hurt your son. Well, let me put it like this. If God created the world, what I'm saying is if what I'm saying is true, then this can't be hell because this is too good for hell. No, I wouldn't say All that. Right? I but, but think about it. You think about that. it. You still breathing right now, man. You still got blessings, man. You still healthy. You look good. You got a job. Hell is darkness. <laughs> the Bible describes hell as complete darkness. It's nothing. People are going to be screaming and gnashing up deep. And here's another reason why I believe that hell is true. Because Jesus said it. He made it. 2,000 years ago, Jesus says that don't be afraid of those who can kill the body. He says, be afraid of the one who has power to throw body and soul into hell. If Jesus says hell is real, which one am I going to go with? What I feel or what he said? I need to go with, what you think? I have kind of trust thing with uh, religion on certain issues because sure. the Bible been rewrote too many times. How do you figure that out? Because there's uh, the Quran that the actual, sure. and then there's um, uh, like King James Version. Sure. And they had man to stuff out of the Bible <laughs> and made other things just so that another version of it. Yeah. So basically, yeah. You, right. you're listening to a man interpretate something and he can take out what he wants and put in it but yeah. not the truth as well well okay i had the same belief system until i actually studied what the, the bible like the original copy like the original i didn't study the original copies the, the bible was written there were eyewitness accounts man they actually seen what jesus did and they wrote it down 30 to 60 years later right and so what they've done is they dug up these copies and they're studying the exact copy that they wrote the original language. I'm talking about the original, like they dug up these, these right? And so now they're, they study what the Bible says today. And it's the same stuff yeah. with the exception of a few verses. Yeah. Like 96% of what the Bible said back in Jesus' day is what we're reading today. Yeah. Yeah. All but right. The thing is they right, use religion with politics and it's, right. there's a lot of controversy in that. You're right. All right. And I can explain it like this. You know what type of people killed Jesus? Um, it had to be <laughs> religious, <laughs> religious people. So I'm not necessarily talking about a religion with you. I don't know I'm talking about Catholics and right and Rome. I'm, I'm talking about more of a relationship. Okay. The, the, the difference between religion and a relationship is religion says, God, I'm performing. I'm being good. I'm trying to do all these righteous acts. Can you take me in? I'm building my resume. That's religion. Jesus says, I'm about a relationship. You can't perform. So it's like religion is you trying to perform to get to him. Jesus says, no, I come from heaven to get to you. That's a relationship. How you know you're in a relationship? Man, you, you sacrifice, you serve for that person. Religion says that God says, man, you better do what you do. If you don't, you're going to hell. That is motivated out of what? Fear. Mm -hmm. Jesus says, I'm going to die for you. And you're going to be motivated to follow me out of what? Out of love. I don't follow Jesus because I don't feel like I'm going to go to hell. I follow Jesus because I'm in love with him because of what he did for me. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about more of a relationship. And yeah, I, I, I get it with religion. People use religion all the time to make money, to have sex, to do all this kind of stuff. No, Jesus is totally different. Read the book of John. If a really good one is really a good book, read the book of John. And you can trust the fact that it is true because it's still the same that they dug up. I mean, I ain't saying it's false. What you think? Because I don't study a lot of religion. Uh, okay. I just studied your witness. I no studied witness. Catholic. Yep. I studied yep. Baptist. I don't know about them Pentecostal people. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody got their own opinion. They, you right. You and, right. You know. And if that's make you a better person, then if it works for you and it keeps you humble. But see, but if it's not true, you in trouble. A lot of people follow things that are not true. How do I know the Bible is true? Is the question. I'm not gonna pray to a. Uh, like it's a trash, yeah. You're not gonna pay to a trash can. <laughs> trash can, I like. But I mean, if it got some truth in it, I'm gonna at least take intake it, and then I'm gonna take from what I, I think is real. Form. Well, see, that's what's wrong with religion. Religion has a lot of truth in it, but it's like rat poison. A lot, a lot of what's in rat poison is good, mm. but that that ten percent in there that's gonna kill you. Man, what I'm saying is completely pure, simply because it's about the man. It's not yeah. about the religion. I'm a follower of Jesus Christ before I'm anything else, before I'm Baptist, whatever, whatever you want to say. Okay. I'm, the, I'm connected with the man before I take the title of what, what he says. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you can't go wrong when you look at Jesus. Now, when you look at religion, 
you go wrong. When you look at Jesus himself and just read about him, that's what got me when I started reading about Jesus himself. Not what everybody said in their religion is about Jesus. I'm telling you, just pick up the book of John, all of the gospels. Matthew is the fourth biography of Jesus in the, in the New Testament. Just remember the four biographies, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And just look at how four of these different guys, they looked at the same Jesus and they say things from a different nuance. Everybody has the same different, uh, have a different personality. So if me and you seen an accident, you was across the street, you was this way, and I was this way. If we seen an accident, mm -hmm. I seen it from a different angle. Right. You're going to describe it different when you write it up. You're going to describe it different. But we're all seeing what? The same right. accident. Right. When the, but the, so all of the Gospels are, they watching Jesus from their own personalities and different perspectives. One was like a, a, a re really good math man. The other one was like, a, another guy was like, a, he was a tax collector. He stole people's money. The other one was like uh, one of the uh, a fishermen. You got these different perspectives. That's how you know the Bible is true because it's four, it's four different biographies watching the same man saying it's the same story from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. Just go check it out yourself, man. And if it's not true, I get it. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you right now, it's a life changer. <laughs> what you think, man? I, 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 that's it, bro. What you think? I think it's an experience like what you said. It's intake on what you yeah. got out of it. And if it makes you humble. I mean, basically, the yeah. truth is the truth. The truth is the truth. Yeah. The truth is the truth. But you're going to figure that out anyway. Right. <laughs> Whether you find it out now or later. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right, man. Y'all go ahead, man. Y'all go ahead. Man, God bless you, man.